Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Stephen here from James Glenn Car Sales and we've got a car that we've not had in stock for, oh, must be at least seven, maybe eight years and it is not just a 6 Series, it's a 6 Series Grand Coupe a very, very rare car on the road um, probably because they were eye-wateringly expensive when new uh, this is a 2014, so we've broke one of our buying rules we generally don't buy in um, for anything that's over six, seven years old. This is now 10, but I'm sure by the time um, we've reached the end of the video, you'll understand why we decided to break that rule, um, buy it in and not trade it on and keep it for stock. It is a beautiful big car with a faultless history and a really, really nice set of options, which we'll go through over uh, the course of the video. 51,000 miles, two owners, complete history, all BMW, it was your oil service when we bought the car in for stock, so we've had that carried out ourselves, um, and we've obviously got an invoice there for um, everything. It's just to retain that full history, but yeah, full, complete BMW all the way up until the last one, um, which is quite something for a car of this age. Uh, so let's get a wee look around. So just to start us off, we'll take a little wander around um, while I fill you guys in on how we find our stock. So at James Glenn Car Sales, all stock, is bought via our own in-house car buying service. We won't buy any car.com. If you have a nice sports or prestige vehicle, up to six years old most of the time, or up to 60,000 miles with a good history and a nice spec, and you're looking to move the car on for a fair price and a very painless process, we would love to hear from you. For evaluation, please get in touch. We won't buy any car.com, and we'll put a link to that in the description down below. Um, as we buy the cars directly from the owners, it gives us a chance to meet the, meet the owner, take the car a, a, a short drive, bring the car in under the, the, the garage lights here, check all the bodywork, check the service history, make sure <coughs> everything works. All the sort of things that you don't have the luxury to do if you buy cars the traditional way, which is at a car auction. Uh, I can't honestly remember the last time we visited an auction. It must have been, must be in excess of eight or nine years ago. Is that so long? Uh, we won't buy any car has been up and running. So once the cars are bought in stock, they're then sent across to Turner Autos. They put through an 82 point inspection. Uh, the car's MOT is renewed. Um, if there's anything needing done, that's all carried out before the car comes back to us. And then if the wheels need refurbished, we have to do the two fronts on this one. They're all done. It then comes back to us and we carry out a three stage detailing process. Uh, we don't use colour magic, so if there's a few little chips on it, that's because we, we haven't tried to hide them. Um, and we, um, we don't just wax them, they, they are properly uh, machine polished with a, a three stage compound uh, and that gives us this lovely <coughs> swirl free paint finish. So now let's get a good closer look at, at the car's condition. Um, being 10 years old there's probably going to be a few more marks on it than, than what you're used to if you normally, uh, if you watch for, you know, if you're a, a long standing uh, watcher of our stock. Uh, our stock's usually quite a bit younger but this, you know, short of a few stone chips in the front, it is a very, very, very uh, clean car. So let's get a look at these stone chips then. So up here, I've got a few small ones. That, again, there's nothing, there's no big nasty ones, but there is just a few uh, that are, uh, that I do need to bring to your attention. Being black, obviously, it doesn't help. Uh, and being under the, uh, the, the garage LED lights, um, this is probably the most critical light um, that the car's going to be exposed to. Uh, and we don't want anybody to turn up um, disappointed because we do have customers from all over the UK. So that's the that's the the, the surface of the bonnet. As I mentioned, you know we've got the stone chips, which um, we need to make aware of. The light lenses are all in excellent condition. Um, curiously, the nose cone is actually that's actually wearing pretty well. A couple here, light lens around on this side. In good condition. I've seen the, I've seen six series light lenses becoming pretty opaque and foggy as they get old, but these are all these are both wearing really really well. Bottom of the front bumper again, some light road rash right down the very bottom here. But by and large, I would have to say for a car of this age, it's in re really 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 good clean clean condition. And I would I would say that that car hasn't been painted, so <coughs> there's nothing covering up, nothing hidden. Um, it's just commensurate with the age of the of the car. So looking down the passenger side, uh, I have had a wander around the car before starting making the video, um, and I'm pretty sure there is nothing to report. But we will go through the process, and we'll do this from the other end, the other side as well. 
As I mentioned earlier, we had to redo the front two, two, two wheels. They were both lightly curved around the outer edge, so these are both in good condition. Brake disc, again, good condition, it's clean slick face. And we've got our premium brand Yokohama tyre on the front passenger side. Just working my way down <coughs> the length of the near side. We'll get a wee kneel down and just check the length of the vehicle from the other side. And as we can see, that it's all as good from this angle. While we're here, we'll take a wee look at the bumper corner. Make sure there's no scuffs or scrapes. Rear wheel on the passenger side, good condition, no damage. Uh, another Yokohama branded tyre, and um, we, we did fit new discs on the back. Caliper looks like it's had a wee coat of black paint there as well. And the front of you, yeah, it's nice when you can see that they've been painted, but just to take that, because these cars just come with a standard steel um, sliding caliper, so it's nice to see that they've been taken care of and tidied up a bit over the course of time. So looking across in the interior, <coughs> you can see that we've got loads of leather with the silver stitching. That's carried on right up onto the dashboard, all over it. Uh, it is a real premium fit and finish to the inside of the 6 Series. Uh, we've got two-stage memory, fully electric, electrically adjustable, obviously. An integral head headrest. And we've got a really, really big... Uh, it's, like a, it's almost like in between a, just a regular tilt and slide and a pan roof. Goes right back by the front occupants. Leather stitch carried right over onto the door cards, and we've got our Hammond Carden audio system there as well. Now this has got to be one of the cool, but not one of the coolest. But it's one of those. It doesn't really need it, but it, but it's nice that it has it. Soft closed doors. Handy if you're coming back in late at night and you don't want to be slamming the doors and waking up the neighbours. Looking across the back bench, we can see that it's all good condition, no dents or marks from baby seats or anything like that. You can also give yourself extra leg room from the back, which is pretty cool. Uh, these cars do have a centre uh, seat belt, but I would say that it's pretty much leaning more towards a big four-seater. However, if you do need to have a third occupant in the back, we do have a there is a seat belt, there's provision for that as well. They'll just have the centre console in between their legs. So I don't imagine they're going to be in there for too long. Um, it's also got frameless doors, with it being a coupe. Um, another nice little design feature is the Grand Coupe design with this uh, honeycomb trim. So that when you close the door, you see it frosted out behind the glass. There's just a ton of thought being put in to these things. Uh, and now represent insane value for money in my humble opinion but obviously being a car salesman i'm going to um, say just that so we kneel down we have like two two uh two gloss one either side and um, parking sensors across the back it's a really really deep boot however the opening cat is a little bit shallow if i'm being honest <clears throat> um we're not entirely sure what this button's for it's not for power fold, uh, so it's not, it doesn't have a power tailgate, but it does have a button here for locking it, so we're not entirely sure what that's for. Maybe you guys can let us know in the comments. And looking down the driver's side, again, absolutely nothing to report guys, no parking dents, scratches or scrapes. Take a little mark there, I don't know if you can see that. It's there. Rear wheel free from damage. Another Yokohama Advanced Sport tyre. Oh, it's also got keyless entry, so any BMW you look at, it's got the little serrated marks on the top. That's an indication that it's a keyless entry handle, which means you can get in and out of the car as long as you have the keys on your person. Looking down the length, final angle from the front to the back. Absolutely spot on. Fourth and final Yokohama tag, given it's a full matching set. Uh, they do have a lot of life left in them as well, guys. I would see that they've been fairly recently fitted to the point it may actually be in the last thousand miles or so. There's that much tread. 
So moving on to the inside, <coughs> usual touch points, door card, the top where people tend to let rest their um, elbow, door handle pull and the, and the handle itself all in good condition. No wear about the electric window switches. Uh, tiny little bit of lacquer just lifting around about the edge of the entry plate, around the M kick plate there. Backrest, good condition, however we've got a little bit of discoloration on the outer edge of the bolster. Not burst through or anything, but we've got a bit of wear just here. Um, outer bolster on the base in good condition, and the base isn't too heavily stretched. So we'll hop in. It's got a power, um, let's close the door. Power column. And it's got the kind of semi-virtual cockpit set up. Start there. So current mileage 51,180. Nice big screen lifted from the 5 series. A lovely place to do a big journey with four adults I have to say. So moving on to some of the interior options we've got the ceramic Finishing on the iDrive shuffle knob around the, the gear stick, climate control controls, and I didn't want to say knobs, but yeah, climate control knobs and your volume knob as well. This is like a £600 option, I and mean, you never ever see it. When a car's got this, it's an indication it's got pretty much everything else. Um, what else do we have? We've got a head up display as well. I don't know if you can see that, if I turn the lights off, that might help. Yeah, you can just see it floating on the on the windscreen. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a gorgeous thing, and they're really, really lively as well. Um, being with the, with the forty D drivetrain, but given the, the performance, the fuel economy is very, very respectable as well. Powerful mirrors. If it's not working as it should, <clears throat> if you put the car into sport, you can see it changes the dial readout, and then down into comfort, Eco Pro. Comfort again, and um, got all your usual professional media and everything as well. Love the steering wheel, my favourite. This is carried over onto the, all the, the, F, the F3, F3 um, Generation 3 series, just the right thickness, the right size. Uh, spokes all nice and slender as well. The paddles with just the right amount of weight. Yeah, really, 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 really lovely car. Very, very spacious and very, very well equipped. So we'll hop out now and we'll get a look at the engine bay. <clears throat> so you can actually see how far back in the car the, the engine is. It's almost like front engine, front mid engine, because the engine literally is sitting just behind the front axle and you've got all this uh, this front landing panel space. Uh, it's a really, really long car, um, and, and on regular parking space, it, uh, just the nose of it sticks out um, from experience when we had a white one in all those years ago. So this is a uh, BMW Street 6 twin turbo diesel, uh, round figures, 320 horsepower, a gazillion foot-pounds of torque, um, which feels like it's available from absolutely anywhere in the rev range. Put in Eco Pro mode, go on a big long cruise, and you're going to see 650 miles cruising range to a tank. Maybe even maybe even further if you are driving exceptionally careful. So there we are, guys. That is our 2014 640D Grand Coupe. Hope you found that video helpful. <coughs> if you are looking to send us a wee inquiry, we would love to hear from you, and you can get in touch by the way, via <laughs> you get in touch by clicking the link down below, which will take you through to the website, um, where you can uh, reach out through the contact us page, or if you find the car on the website, if, you, if you're on there, having a look at all the spec, looking through all the images, um, you can get in touch uh, through uh, the vehicle on the website as well. Always happy to take your current car and part exchange, um, or if you've got any questions at all, guys, just you know, reach out, uh, happy to answer any questions that you've got. As you're looking at a BMW 6 Series on YouTube, I'll put a link to a video up here where I recently reviewed a new model M2. I think you might find that interesting. And also, please do consider subscribing to our channel. That way you'll not miss any more stock updates like this one or any more road tests like that one. And you can do that by clicking the James Glenn logo, which is, I think it's just about here. Uh, thanks again, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.